Well, I've been saying if if you're a game dev and you want to throw your hat into the battle royale ring, you kind of have to be like unique, you know. You can't be. Obviously, you can't be building anymore because Fortnite's done that. Uh, PUBG is kind of like like a military realistic shooter, uh, and people I think people think of that when they think of Battlefield. But I hope they have different mechanics that separate them from PUBG, like uh, mm -hmm. like really heavily focused squad. Um, like in a uh, in PUBG and Fortnite, you find items that allow you to heal yourself. And maybe if you couldn't heal unless you had like a medic on your team, that would be interesting. That would be really interesting. Yeah, I mean that's the whole the battlefield squad system has always been yeah kind of first and foremost. Yeah. Uh, so if they really lean into the squads, I think that'd be interesting. But then that kind of ruins like the solo play experience. So we, I don't know how that would work. Yeah, we saw that there's like there's some building kind of mechanics in this one fortification yeah, yeah stuff like that which i like because it's not it's not like the tedium of having to really build something from the ground up but to be able to put in some like you know some barriers or some or some turrets or whatever yeah and uh well battlefield has also shown that they can put a lot of players on a lot of big maps yep they know how to do big maps very well so it'd be really cool if you could see like maybe 200 people in a oh that'd be nuts in a battle royale i think that'd be cool like fortnite has a hundred i believe pubg has mm -hmm. i believe pubg has a hundred also um aerial vehicles aerial vehicles stuff like that like mm -hmm. they should really take the battlefield experience and just make that a battle royale but with different stipulations like you can't heal unless you have a medic things like that or if you kill a medic you can take their heals. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. And I think I do think we did get like a little tease of the firestorm in that first trailer. Mm -hmm. And it was just like a bunch of fire everywhere. And I think it'd be interesting if you couldn't be in the safe zone at all. Like if, if you if you get touched by the fire, you're just dead. I wonder how that would affect how people approach it. It'd be interesting because like in Battle Royale games now, like if you get caught outside the safe zone, you still have some time. Mm -hmm. To, to rotate into the safe zone but if you had to be cognizant and <laughs> you couldn't get touched by that i think that'd be i think that'd be interesting gameplay wise i mean to be like sudden death if you're i mean you know it definitely would make a faster game i think yeah it would it would and People i think it wouldn't be yeah and i think if you had like 200 players i think you'd have to have a faster game you don't want to you don't want to play a battle royale game for like one hour in a match uh, that's a team I think 30, 20 to 30 minutes is the sweet mm -hmm. spot. Uh, but but it'd, be, it'd be really interesting to see everything. I'm trying to, I don't know if anyone's done this. I'd be interested to see what it's like if the area is steadily shrinking. Like maybe it moves slower, but like it doesn't do that thing where it's like, oh, like, like there's no, there's no, you know, breathing period between. Like, oh, you, you know, mean usually like it's constantly Yeah, shrinking. it like usually comes in waves, but that would be like kind of interesting. Like, oh, oh you know so what? you just have to stay in motion. Yeah, that would be really interesting. They could lean into that too. Other thing is, um, have you ever read Battle Royale, the book? I have not. It's it's one of my favorite, like, just kind of guilty pleasure, but it's a, it's a legit good book. But uh -huh. um, the thing that's different in the original Battle Royale is it's a grid system versus circles. And I wonder if that's more difficult to program or if it just doesn't make sense game design wise. Yeah. But basically they're on an island that's on a grid system and so different areas are slowly like, you know, made into into you know, dead zones. Yeah. Uh and I think it's it's sudden death. So if you like cross into the boundary you're just you're screwed. Yeah. But like because of how that affects the map, it would it means you have to like you have to move maneuver around areas, uh -huh. you know? As opposed to just circles, which is kind of like a straight line. Yeah. It'd be really interesting. Like, yeah. I feel like they have to take it into a unique level. Yep. Or, or they're not going to be... Like, PUBG's already established itself. Fortnite's... Or, ooh, Jesus. Fortnite's already established itself. It has to come out with mm -hmm. something unique that I'm, makes people want... Oh, Jesus. I'm excited to see what they do with it. 